first down. This is Kenneth Gainwell. Breaking free. Stays on his feet. What a stop for the Tigers. Kenneth Gainwell, redshirt freshman, has been explosive for the Memphis Tigers. Matt said it in the open. Number one rusher in the country, I believe. This is in the conference. In the conference, that is absolutely explosion. He gets through the line. He takes off. And at the end, he gives the extra effort. He flies. going on fantasy dgens this is your boy joey coming to talk to you about my favorite rookie outside of the top tier rookies now this is a a player who really fell in the nfl draft um we were expecting him to go day two day three um and you know he really fell so i'm talking about uh philadelphia eagles running back kenneth gainwell um who fell to the fifth round in the nfl draft so uh why i believe he fell so far um, is first that, you know, he had limited college production. He, he only started one season in college, right? Uh, his freshman year, um, he didn't see the field that much. We had Daryl Henderson starting over him. And, you know, that's expected that, you know, a freshman does not see the field that much and a fresh freshman really do not produce. So um, you can't really knock him there. And then, you know, 2020, he opted out due to COVID. Um, he had some family members pass, so... You know, you also can't blame him there. But his only season in which he did play and he got the starting opportunity, I mean, he exploded, right? So so about Memphis real quick, though. um, I mean, Memphis is is a running back factory. So uh, two years ago, three years ago, Tony Pollard was their starter. You know, he produced well. Then came along Daryl Henderson, who produced well, and that's why Kenny G sat. And then Kenny G came along. And he outproduced both those guys by far. You know, in 2020 or 2019, I should say, uh, he had the fourth most total scrimmage yards in all of college football. And, you know, this is the same year as our our running backs in the 2020 class, like Jonathan Taylor, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, DeAndre Swift, Cam Akers, J.K. Dobbins, you know, Jamar Chase even had a crazy 2020 college um, or 2019 college year. So, I mean, this was a very productive college year and for him to be to have the fourth most total scrimmage yards as a sophomore as a redshirt freshman I mean that's really impressive so you know a lot of people knock him the main knock for Kenny Gainwell is his size and what a lot of people forget is that the 101 in every single league Christian McCaffrey is 5'9 205 Kenny Gainwell is 5'9 200 Aaron Jones is 206 pounds I believe Austin Eckler is a smaller back. You know, he produces. He's an RB1. Aaron Jones is RB1, and Christian McCaffrey is our consensus player number one uno overall. So this huge misconception, you know, is that these smaller backs cannot be these workhorse backs. And and I'm here to say that Kenny Gainwell can definitely be an RB1 in fantasy football. And I'm not saying that he's going to do this year one. You know, he doesn't have the starting opportunity like some of these other running backs but you know he did show us at memphis that he has a very unique skill set you know this is a guy that you know he wasn't every down back for this team he produced very well with his opportunities he he can run in between tackles he can catch the ball exceptionally exceptionally well you know he shows great vision and most of all you know he's he's explosive as hell and he looks like a good football player um as you can see in this film right and so I believe that he can produce as an every down back in the NFL, you know, and a lot of people saying that he's only going to be a third down back, you know, that could be true. And that would be his floor, though. You know, his floor would be a very efficient third down back in the NFL. And honestly, you know, in Dynasty, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with that. To get him in the second or third round of your rookie draft, I mean, he could be he could be 30 years old and still be relevant in the NFL as like maybe a flex play on your on your in your fantasy team, right? You know, we're talking about dynasty theory. Some of these traditional workhorse guys hit a wall after five years. Some of these pass catching workhorse guys, you know, they could be around at age thirty, you know, still producing RB one, RB two numbers. So that is something I really like about Kenny Gainwell. You know, he can play all over the field. 
You know, he can play as a receiver. He is that good at catching the ball. You know, as you can see from this film, like, he's making all sorts of catches, all sorts of plays, ripping off 75-yard runs. You know, this is the same team as Antonio Gibson in 2019 for the Memphis Tigers. He started at running back over him. And a lot of people never understood why Antonio Gibson didn't play running back. Well, it's because of Kenny Gainwell. Okay, they didn't need to explore their, their running back room because they had this guy, Kenny Gainwell, who, who dominated. So why bother looking for a running back, right? They had no need for it. So he is a very talented player, and there's a ton of untapped potential. We don't even know what this kid can do. We have no idea. You know, he, he was very productive, and, you know, his stats really show that, and his film really shows that, that he can be a, a very fantasy valuable player for our for our rosters and you know looking at this Eagles offense um, you have a very young raw team you have a brand new head coach a brand new quarterback a brand new wide receiver one you have a year two receiver in Jalen Rager and you have Miles Sanders and Dallas Goddard and that's it this is a very low depth offense in which players are going to be allowed to create opportunities for themselves and I believe that Kenny Gainwell is going to be able to find opportunity and be fantasy relevant and, you know, his, his path to relevance isn't as far off as some people think. You know, uh, Nick Sirianni, the offensive coordinator for the Colts in 2020, now the head coach for the Eagles, has already claimed that he likes Kenny Gainwell. He sees a role for him, and, you know, they're really going to utilize him. Like uh, Naheem Hines, potentially, in 2020, who finished as an RB2, some people don't realize. And this is the same team as Jonathan Taylor. Okay, and a lot of people deemed him a bust up until week eight, nine, you know. So, you know, first off, Kenny Gainwell is a better player than Naeem Hines, I believe, in my personal opinion. He's an all around better football player that offers more to the table. And I also think Jonathan Taylor is a better running back than Miles Sanders. So, for those who think that Miles Sanders is going to get every single opportunity and command this backfield completely, I think that's delusional. I think we're going to see a ton of Kerryon Johnson and Kenny Gainwell. Kerryon Johnson can, he's a very well uh, pass blocker. He, he's great at pass protection. And Kenny Gainwell is very, very versatile. And if anything were to happen to Miles Sanders, Jesus, uh, Kenny Gainwell, to me, man, sky's the limit. He is a very raw, talented player that can work as an every, every down back, you know, and he, he shares a lot of the same skill set as some of our favorite running backs in the league right now. So same size, same everything, you know. So keep your eye out for him. Um, th that pretty much sums up everything I wanted to say about this kid. Uh, check out our other videos. I know uh, Mike and Don have already posted some of their player profile. Uh, so go check those out if you already haven't. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't. And leave a thumbs up on the video if you if you learned anything new and, and you thought this uh, video was valuable and, you know, you might want to go out and get Kenny Gainwell. I mean, you can get them for a third, a second, a late second. Um, you know, I mean, this is the lowest his value will ever be. So keep your eye out for him. And I hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.